Hello, hi, uh, welcome guys and thank you for watching. Uh, today what I'm going to be talking about, um, I know that, I remember I told you guys I was going to talk a little bit more about uh, tuning a machine, but uh, before tuning a machine, I need you, I needed you guys to talk, talk to you actually about um, getting a power supply, getting the right power supply. Uh, some machines, um, actually some, uh, a lot, there's a lot of power supplies out there. Um, like a lot of uh, people that have been doing this for a long time, like I said before. They've been using these power supplies that basically they don't give you any readings or anything. They just, uh, people just know by, just by the feeling and by the sound of their machines, how they're running. I guess I, I know, I know I said that before. So, uh, but I really like this machine. This is, uh, this, uh, uh, actually this power supply. This power supply is made by Hurricane Power. That's what it's called. And these are actually, uh, this little power supply, they're a little pricey though. They're like around, they run between uh, 80 bucks to 100 bucks, so depends on where you get it. Um, uh, this uh, particular one, I got it from uh, from eBay. I paid like uh, 98 free shipping and handling, uh, which is actually pretty pretty good, I guess. Uh, I think now they're a little bit cheaper than that. They're about uh, 70 something, so if you can look at it on eBay and maybe find all these uh, uh, machines. And the cool thing about these, uh, power supplies that tell you everything that you're how your machine is running that's what I like about it you know because uh, sometimes uh, you know it's not like you forget but you need to know exactly what your machine is doing um, the duty cycle the speed and, uh, and how many voltage uh, you're putting into it because not all, all, all machines are they'll be running the same some machines that you need to run them in a lower voltage you know depends on what type of coil you have the size of it some of them there are uh, like um, 10 wraps, of course the 10 wraps, they need a lot more voltage to, to get them running and the smaller your coil, you know, the less uh, 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 voltage you need and um, so let me run the machine and, and I'll show you uh, what I mean by that and uh, let me run my liner, so because over here and then you can actually set up this machine uh, it has like a button for a liner and a button for a shader and it will show you exactly how your machine is running this is how I have my machine running like I said before, you know, it's, it's not just about how you have your machine set up. But, um, so this is actually how I have my machine right now. And uh, right now my machine is running in a 114 to 120 speed, duty cycle 48 to 49. Sometimes it goes up to 50. The ideal thing is to have your machine uh, tune up where it runs around <clears throat> 50 uh, duty cycle. A speed that's actually a good speed right there, no lower than 109. I will say 100. And uh, <clears throat> for a for a liner, and the voltage it depends on what you have. Uh, you can actually pump up the voltage a little bit, bring it up to 105. By doing that, you're gonna uh, speed your machine, and then the cycle is gonna go a little bit higher. And um, you know, like I said before, some people they just by filling of it, by the fill of it, uh, that's how they're they're gonna run their machines. Um, actually, this is a shader, not a liner. Um, they take take that back. This is my shader. I mean, I and over here the cool thing is that you can just um, by pressing over here, you change your settings, and then you can by pressing on it, it will save the setting that you have. For instance, for this machine, if I wanted to run a little bit higher on voltage and I have it set up as a shader, I'll just by pressing on that, it's going to save it and it's not going to change it. And then when I change to my liner, I just press over here. Last time I was using it, I was using it at 7.7 .7 voltage. And switch to my liner. And that's how it's gonna run. It's running at 138 and 54 duty cycle. So that's a little bit too high. But you have to have something in. Con you have to consider something also that this machine right now is unloaded. So uh, you need to load your machine, and then everything is gonna go a little bit lower. Like what 140 is probably gonna drop to 120 or one something duty cycle. It's probably gonna stay about around the same. Um, so um, because you, you have to um, remember um, the armature bar now is going to have to be holding the needle plus it's going to have the tension from your uh, rubber bands okay 
So maybe later on I'll show you something uh, when the machine uh, actually something that is actually lo fully loaded. Right now I'm not set up, set up for that so I cannot actually load it for you. But in um, a later video I'm going to do that for you. And uh, that's basically what I, do, uh, what I wanted to show you the difference between using a, uh, one um, a power supply that doesn't have any readings and then won't, that you won't know exactly how your machine is running. And the cool thing also about um, Versus um, one that like this, you know, that is telling you exactly how your machine is running, the voltage, the speed, and the duty cycle. And a lot of information out there right now in tuning machines, they're, um, they're actually uh, telling you all this information. They tell you about the speed of the machine, the duty cycle, because in reality, uh, there's uh, you have to, if you buy books or whatever, uh, they're, they're, they have to mention that because they cannot just tell this is how you're supposed to feel it and you know because there is no way you can read the feeling of your of your machine how it runs and you know and you know against your palm and how much um, it bounces back and how what's supposed to feel like you know um, a lot of you know like I said before you know a lot of pros that's how they uh, set up their machines and how they uh, test their machines by the sound of it too you know and uh, that's actually pretty cool you know that they do that um, they don't have to rely on any any um, speed by looking at the speed looking at the duty, uh, duty cycle or the voltage they just go by, uh, by what they're looking at what they're feeling and what they're what they're uh, hearing so actually that's uh, that's uh, that's actually pretty good if you are able to learn that that's uh, awesome because you don't require one of these uh, power supplies uh, which I think are pretty cool anyways so uh, let me press on this so let's say if you're um, working on a low piece and then you don't need to uh, you don't so it makes you actually a uh, makes you relax your, your food because you don't have to be pressing all the time so what you do you just press on this and then I'll hold the, uh, my liner like that and all of a sudden what you're going to see is going to change and it's going to hold it like that and it's going to stay like that. I don't have to be pressing on my on the pedal because it's just running like that and then I just, I just tap it once and it will go away. Alright so this is uh, basically what I wanted to show you uh, on this video on you know digital power supplies versus uh, the old type that doesn't have any uh, a screen that will tell you anything about your machine. How's it running? And thank you for watching. Bye bye.